normal life. Face your fears with facts. As I stated before, most of our fears stem from one single incident and a lot of them are irrational. And if we understand some facts about these fears, maybe we'll just realize there's nothing to worry about. It's just all in our heads. I'll give you an example. How many of us are afraid of snakes? <laughs> all of us. But if we understand some things about snakes, it might actually change our minds. For example, only 16% of snakes are actually venomous. A snake will not attack you unless you attack her or it. Fact number three. A snake is a lot more afraid of you than you are afraid of it. You see, by understanding these facts, we might put our minds at ease and look at it as a simple creature. Now snakes don't seem so frightening, do they? A few years ago, I was in Dubai and on the top of Burj Khalifa, the longest tower in the world. And up there, there was this lady with her husband, and she was crying and hanging to the walls. We tried to help, and she said, I have fear of heights. The tour guide, he came in, he kneeled down, and he said, Ma'am, what exactly are you afraid of? Remember, identify your fears. She said, I fear falling down. He said, well, please breathe. And we will get into breathing in a minute. Then he told us some facts about that tower. First of all, there is a thick glass wall that's never been broken. Fact number two, ever since this tower has been built, nobody was able to jump off of it. Fact number three, ever since this tower was built, it has never fallen down. So the possibility of you falling off the tower is zero. It cannot happen. See, by understanding these facts, her mind was at ease, and she was able to walk around and enjoy the scenery. Every fear you have might be irrational. And if you can just do some digging and some searching about it, you'll find out there's nothing to worry about.